if I don't have that. Then um, let's just face it, the workout's not gonna happen. Hey Earthlings, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, you've reached the place on the internet where I share with you everything related to my healthy, fit lifestyle, and any other fun videos that I feel are relevant to share with you on my channel where I'm just being myself and doing what I love. Many years have passed in which I have formulated a very specific routine when it comes to preparing myself mentally and physically for the gym. Now let me give you a really quick psychology lesson for a second. So many people just wait around for that spark of motivation to inspire you and bring that energy up and just make you feel like, yes, I'm gonna get so fit today. But the reality is, is that consistency brings forth motivation. You gotta kind of immerse yourself in an activity that you wanna get really good at. And once you immerse yourself over time, your brain will start creating a habitual response to what you're doing and it'll get motivated based on the fact that you're simply doing a repetitive action. Now, if you don't know much about fitness and you're trying to kind of just force yourself to suddenly have an amazing body, it's probably not going to happen. One of my biggest recommendations is truly just figuring out what type of fitness actually works for you and what do you enjoy doing. Now, for me, it's calisthenics. For you, it might be running. And for someone else, it might be a dance class on YouTube. Now, it doesn't really matter what activity that you do. As long as you're moving and getting active, you're already progressing towards your fitness journey. We now have to figure out what time of day that your body thrives from getting active. There are hundreds of studies, if not thousands, that have proven morning workouts are better than evening workouts, just like evening workouts are better than morning workouts. What this means in summary is that it doesn't matter when you're moving as long as you are moving. Now, I personally thrive from working out between the hours of 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. This might not work for you, but I find that I love having slow mornings with my coffee, my meditation, reading my horoscope, truly absorbing the morning and taking my time waking up. After all these years of my fitness journey, I have discovered intuitively that my body just doesn't thrive from morning workouts. Slow walks are fine, but if I have to physically demand it to do something intense, it is by no means going to perform optimally. Now, the other thing is that working out for me is definitely not a chore. It's a reward and that's why I do it in the afternoon once my work day is finished and I've spent the whole morning and afternoon being productive. Now one of my favorite tips in this video is probably going to be the one that I share with you guys right now and that is to simply always have an updated music playlist. And for me, the type of genre that just hypes me up and motivates me to get anything I need to out of the way, whether it's working out or something completely unrelated, is always EDM. I know a couple of people who actually don't require any music to get them hyped up for a workout and I mean, you do you, but I honestly can't do a workout without music. If I don't have that... Then, um, let's just face it, the workout's not gonna happen. And that reminds me, I actually wanted to let you guys know that you can now follow me on Spotify. I have made a public playlist with all of my favorite workout music. There will be house music, trap music, bounce music, dubstep, you name it, you will find it. It's pretty much anything under the electronic realm. If you go hit the link down in my description bar, it'll take you to my Boss Beats playlist, which will give you a whole new form of some kind of melodic motivation, I'm sure of it. Some science shows that it takes 10,000 hours to master a skill and 21 days to create a habit. If you actually want to commit and dedicate yourself to sticking to a goal and getting to it, you have to do it, number one, out of self-love. I know what you're thinking, this is super cliche. Discipline to do your body some good is actually the purest form of self-love. I'm simply referring to the fact that you have to make yourself your number one priority. If you go through the weekly and the monthly sections of my agenda, you will literally find so many random highlights where I've created appointments with myself simply to work out. Now here's why this works. I have a pretty good amount of self-discipline, but I know that a lot of people usually require a third party to help keep motivation up. If we don't have somebody who's relying on us or counting on us, then we typically fall off track much faster. Just the way that I have a doctor's appointment or a dentist appointment, I literally just pick a day, pick a time, pick a workout, and write out all the details on my agenda so I know exactly what I'm doing when that day begins. Now by doing this, this actually helps a lot of us avoid something that psychologists call tomorrow logic. We always say we'll do something tomorrow, next week, today isn't the right day, one day, one day, but why can't today just be day one? So I've been in my comfy clothes pretty much the entire day. 
Now I would love to just keep living in my sweatpants, I think all of us would, but the reality is is that staying in these comfortable clothes is not going to get me any more motivated to move. Putting on the full gear, and I'm talking shoes, leggings, sports bra, the whole deal, is just as important as changing your physical environment. It's going to change the entire energy that you carry. If you're currently working out from home, I highly, highly, highly recommend, even if you're not going outside, to put your shoes on. I swear it tricks your mind into thinking you're actually going somewhere, and then you just get motivated to actually work out. Now whether you're new to fitness or you are well on your way to achieving all of your fitness goals, I strongly recommend taking progress pictures. For now, don't worry about the numbers. This isn't some kind of a temporary life hack. This is a lifestyle we're now transitioning fully into. And be warned, it is much more a mental journey than a physical one. If you still can't find the motivation to work out, I highly recommend just setting a timer for 10 minutes. That's typically the amount of time that it takes your brain to quickly adjust to a new activity. Just by showing up for yourself, you're already succeeding. And I can guarantee you that even when you set a timer for 10 minutes, your workout ends up being much longer and much more productive than you originally thought it would be. I'm gonna pop a little snippet of my workout here at the end of the video, but I'm actually gonna save the entire workout for another vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a like because it really supports my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video.